you're Goliath and I'm David. I will watch you fall. You make me feel stronger. Stronger. Very happy to have with us Renos Karalabidis, one of Greece's biggest stars. Whoa. He's been acting for over 20 years and coming into our Greek homes in the most successful movies and television series in Greece. And he's here with us again for Swing Away, one of our own Greek-American films that was uh, filmed, a heartwarming story filmed in Rhodes. Yes. Uh, starring Shannon Elizabeth, Renos Kalambidis, many, many more. What can I say? I mean, I feel like I'm a great artist, but thank you, Yana. <laughs> you and, are uh, the artist. Thank you, thank you. Um, this is a, f a film that I really love, Swing Away, a film that uh, we shot it in Rhodes. Uh, it's a film about golf. And uh, we're very lucky because we had a great actor with us, like Shannon Elizabeth, John O'Harley, and very good Greek actors, like Manos Gavras, uh, Christos Sugaris, and uh, of course, very good Greek-American producers. Of course. Like Tom Hiotis and uh, George Stephanopoulos. Uh, what can I say? It's a film that I'm very proud of it. Uh, you're going to see it on the big screen in uh, March. And I think that, especially Greek Americans, they will love it. I think they love it. I mean, you've premiered in the Greek uh, Film Festival here in New York and, and toured it around the United States in many it, film festivals. Yeah, it was very good. We just uh, came back from Savannah Film Festival. Uh, we have a very good screening there, and uh, we met uh, Straton Leopold, a Greek who has been working in Hollywood, and uh, he has the best uh, shop with ice cream in Savannah. Unbelievable. Yes. Greeks are everywhere. Yes. Well, as Greeks, we attack Savannah. <laughs> with huge success, <laughs> I have to say that, yeah. And then, no, tell me about your role. How easy was it acting in English? It is very difficult for an actor to act in a language uh, he does know very well. But uh, at the end, uh, acting has the same core. Uh, and uh, if, you, if you know how to do it, it, it works. But of course, it was a little bit hard for me to act in English. I learned my, my lines. Uh, step by step, word by word. I was uh, very anxious to speak good English and to be understood from everybody. How was it to work with Mike Nichols, your uh, director? Mike Nichols... Who happens to also be a Greek American. He has a Greek root because his full name is Michael Achilleas Nichols. Uh, he was an actor, became a director. He's doing the one film after another. And uh, he's a, a, a really a director who uh, cropped the, the beauty of Greece. Uh, in every shot, uh, he managed to, to show the good part of Greece. There are many great parts of Greece. I mean, despite yes. that there is a Greek uh, financial crisis going on right now, you it's had a very, very successful, uh, yes, it's a, it's a, a very, very successful place, yeah. experience in the, the, uh, the, the cast and the crew that was there from America. Yeah. Tell us that how they felt about being in Greece. Uh, all the, all Were Americans, you a good host? All, all Americans love to come to Greece. Um, I, I met many people in New York, not, not American, American, not Greek Americans, who their, their dream is to come to Greece. We are living, my life is based on the uh, dreamland of so many people around the world. And uh, John O'Halley loved Greece, uh, Elis San Elizabeth loved uh, Rhodes. No, no it's, it's impossible to come to Greece and love it. There's love not Greece. one tourist that goes to Greece and doesn't like yes, it. Yes, it's, I mean, it's, it's impossible. It's the, you know, once you visit Greece uh, it's, uh, and you experience the real Greece, it's something that remains with you and it's Until a the end of your life. life changing experience, I say. It is, it is. And I hope to be an experience an experience watching the film. Yes. Yes. Way. yes. Especially Greek Americans who play golf. Yes, the Greek Americans love golf, the Americans love golf. And uh, it, it brings a lot of attention to, to Greece. Yeah. I and so. golfing in Greece. Golfing in Greece, yes. Now of course there are not many golf courses in Greece, but I hope as soon as possible. There are enough, there are enough. As soon as possible, we <laughs> more. Irene, tell me about uh, what other projects you have. Uh, I have to go back to Greece to work on theater and uh, on stage. And uh, I hope to have a retrospective of my, of my four films, which I direct because uh, I'm an actor and film director. My first film called Nobody's Story, uh, I had a screening in New York in 1998. Mm -hmm. My second film was Cheap Smokes. I had a screen again in New York, The Heart of the Beast and Four Black Suits. And I hope uh, to come again in March to have this retrospective. We hope you, you, you host it and we'll be very happy to come and uh, view it. And I'm sure that the, our audience is, would be very excited to see your films and, and meet you in person. Yeah. Um, tell us about 
the Greek film industry during these, you know, last six years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you've been in this industry all your life. Uh, what are some of the hurdles that you're facing now as actors and <laughs> director and producer? We have to face a reality. We, we, we didn't prepare ourselves for uh, so difficult times, uh, the artists, because have, we had 20 years of good, uh, of, with pro full of uh, work. Uh, we produced uh, TV, theater, cinema. Now, I think we're in the, in the middle of the storm, not at the end of the storm. The artists are in the middle of the storm, and uh, we have to think again who we are and uh, how things work and how we can express ourselves through acting and movies and TV, etc. It's complicated again. What would you say to the new um, aspiring actors in Greece or, or aspiring directors, anyone trying to get into this industry? Now we have to be inspired but the, b from the good part of Greece because the last years we were inspired by the bad things. Bad thoughts never help. I think that the Greek artist must find their self, their, their self-confidence and go on. Hmm. Well, we mind. wish everyone luck. And I know we're looking forward to seeing you very close to us I'm again. Looking forward to come back. And uh, more success stories from you and more success because you, you, are, you are a wonderful actor and, oh, and very much loved by the audience. We're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, Manos Gavras is with us. Ο νόμο για του προσωπικού τραυματισμού είναι πολύ σημαντικό για όσου τραυματιστούν από εξωτερικό παράγοντα. Στο δικηγορικό γραφείο Λάτο Λάτο Associates προσφέρουμε την κατάλληλη βοήθεια, καθοδήγηση και υποστήριξη σε αυτή τη δύσκολη διαδικασία. Ο πελάτη μα δεν πληρώνει προκαταβολή. Εξοφλούμαστε όταν τακτοποιήσουμε την υπόθεση. Το δικηγορικό γραφείο Λάτο Λάτο Associates είναι εδώ για να σα εκπροσωπήσει και να υπερασπιστεί τα δικαιώματά σα. Look around, and you'll see 61,000 sets of eyes that look at healthcare differently. Where others may see a curtain, we saw a way to invent a new one that reduces infection. Where others see a call light, we see a call that won't go unanswered. While others focus on healing your body with new medication, we're researching a microchip that helps your body heal itself. In every one of our 21 hospitals and 450 community and research facilities, our 122,000 eyes are looking to not just raise our standard of health care, but raise the standard of health care. The North Shore LIJ Health System is now Northwell Health. Look north. All right, you guys, welcome back to In the Spotlight. And we're very happy to have Manos Gavras with us, another Greek celebrity, started his career in the theater business. Mano, welcome oh, to I'm New York. I'm another one. I'm not just like the only, so it's another, another one. Another, another. After Enos, we have Manos. And Nothing unique. Mano, tell me about Swing Away. How was it? Tell me the experience. It was amazing. Um, filming in Rhodes, um, it's amazing by itself. Uh, filming a romantic comedy, a family movie, it's another. Uh, factor that makes it even more amazing and then having that amazing team um, it is amazing so it was a great experience um, I love shooting films on location I just my dream was to do international films that uh, advertise Greece and are shot on location so that's what Swing Away is about that's wonderful. it's an international film American film that uh, uh, advertises our country and its beauties all over the world and uh, promotes golf at this instance. And then we shot with a beautiful team in Lindos Town and it's Rodo, so I love it, I love it. Tell me about your experience with Mike Nichols. Oh, Michael, he's, he's a sweetheart. He's, you know, being a director and directing scenes or knowing about uh, the right angle or, or, or tell a story or the continuity is one thing but also knowing how to handle actors, and not only actors, producers, actors, uh, you know, the, the crew and everything that comes along with it. With the, I mean, the stress, the intention, everything. He's just a, a master in having everyone relax and handle situations. He could be 
a uh, good politician even mm -hmm. you know he's he's great at that because the goal he's is a to diplomat he keeps yeah, things calm yeah. but it, but always for the goal is to to to, to get it done and, and get the film together so i love mike for that and he's also an amazing director the wonderful thing is that you work with american actors and you also had greek actors tell us about how everybody got along i think did my you learn from each other yeah um i think that was the first film i did with both greek and american i had i had done like just with greeks or just with americans so marrying these two sides of mine, uh, it was it was really it was really cool. I mean, also um, uh, you know, just we have shot a few films in Greece, so some of the the crew is is kind of more used to like the specific crew we had has shot more American or international films. So for them, it was like a, a first thing. Any, but, uh, there any hurdles that you had to go through uh, due to the Greek economic crisis? Did you feel anything during? this production that you no, were no. things different in this production rather than others no because the crisis didn't happen while we we're shooting so the producers and everyone behind this film i i, I think he already knew what he, they will have to go through so they will they came ready so, so everything was around that situation it's not like we started 2010 or 9 and then in the middle of the shoot all things fell apart yeah. so i think no i didn't feel anything like that what did you take away from this role um, I, I, I felt, oh, I took away the feeling to be a father, which is something I haven't felt yet. So this little, it took a little taste, which it was wonderful to have a, a daughter or, or a son, whatever comes first. Um, I took away, um, the golf, which it was something I never a new, had experienced. A new sport with. for you? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. a new sport. And I, f I learned a few things we had in Colca Strada, which is a you know international golfer professional. She taught me a little bit. She told me, "Oh, I see something in you." I said, "Don't start <laughs> it. I do nothing to my He's life." He's gonna become a golfer now. Yeah, I don't want to do that as well. But no, no. I, as soon as I have a chance and I sit my, um, I, I'll be in one place for a long time because I travel all the time. Um, I want to start taking a few classes, mm -hmm. serious classes. Yeah. Well, good. Yeah. I mean, you're an international. Uh, you have an international career now. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also spent a lot of time in, in America and, and in other countries of Europe. Tell me about that experience. That was that was my dream. Like I, I had to move in the States. So I lived in New York. I lived in Los Angeles for four years. The first time I came back, another three years in L.A. So you have to do that. You have to do your, your um, time. Um, but always my goal was to be able, I said, it wouldn't be wonderful to be based in Greece and then travel and work and then come back. And so you don't miss your family, your friends, your culture and everything, your beautiful country. But also you get, um, you know, the, the good things about working overseas. And, and I, I thank God at this point in my life, I, c I can do that. And uh, it's wonderful. But uh, I went through, through some tough times. How yeah. easy is it to break out as an international actor? I mean, you know, you I meet other actors that were uh, from other countries in, in uh, L.A. Yeah, 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 all the time, all the time. Um, I will listen. It just needs patience and, and um, just you never stop. And, and the, between you and I, I don't and, and us. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like, you know, the breakthrough thing is, is kind of you, you never know when you break through the, in this job. You constantly have to fight and keep going. Nothing Evolved. is written in stone. As, as you know, they say in Hollywood, you're as good as your last film. That's right. So you're as good as your last whatever. <laughs> so so your last can only be searching for something new and uh, upgrade yourself in everything and just go for the next experience but you are also keeping busy with many other things you're multi-talented he's a writer ladies and gentlemen and he also writes about children mm -hmm. in a children's book tell me about this this is very fascinating yeah that started uh, three years ago I started writing my first book I was living in LA at the time so I felt the need to kind of uh, research it wasn't it wasn't about me telling kids things it was more about me investigating and researching that wonderful world of this new generation that has nothing to do with our generation so because of talking to kids I, I, I realized that comparing to me talking to the kids 10 15 years ago it's so different than now their brains work in a totally different way and I think the the the, the easy access they have to go to through the internet and other ven you know avenues to uh, information uh, through the technology, the brain starts working in a totally different way than us, right? I know the new generation is yeah. Really so advanced. I wanted to explore that thing, like how they perceive humor, how 
what what is a goal for them what is uh, what is moral or what not uh, like where the boundaries are where are their limitations because you know growing up in a in a generation where there's no limitation uh, in terms of like how far you can reach uh, some some other kids around the world instantly or play a video game with a Chinese kid at the same time when when I grew up I remember I was young in Crete and I made a call uh, you know my mom didn't know of course mm -hmm. I, I made she a call in now. the United States so somebody picks up the phone I'm like hello I'm like, and I hang it up so I'm like oh god I talked to someone in the United States it's wow. for me you know I never left yes. my island yeah. my first time I, I left Crete was when I was 13 I traveled very old um, so imagine from there to be able from your room on your phone to be able to play a video game with kids from around the world so mm -hmm. i wanted to kind of go deep there and and communicate so that's how the idea started but then i wanted also to pass to kids something that i come from something that that talk about things i know and i care about and that's how i brought mythology our civilization the ancient greece through a modern way to the young generation. So that's how I married uh, Fisticius or Unitis, which is the title mm -hmm. uh, of the my hero. books. Yeah, the hero. Uh, Goober the Greek in English mm -hmm. will come out. And uh, so, which is a, a 80 year old kid in ancient Greece um, and his adventures uh, around uh, being, you know, in love with Aphrodite, which is a prettiest girl in school. So he's trying to become someone important, a hero, god, uh, Olympic champion, and uh, to conquer her heart. So, uh, so that's how it starts. Where can one uh, get these books? Um, here in the States, uh, these the specific ones in Greek, because in English I'm in talks with some publishing houses, uh, you can find them on uh, Hellenic Book Club or Amazon. Uh, they're doing really, really well. Also, I took, uh, I tour. Goober the Greek. Yeah. On yeah. Amazon, guys. Yeah, or I'm Fisticus or Unitis. I also, I'm lucky enough, I found out uh, a year and a half ago that they teach my books in schools here in the States and Canada. I had no idea. Somebody called me and said, do you know that? So oh. I realized that in many schools, they have my books and it's teachers an use impact. them. Yeah, it's making yeah. an impact. So that's uh, when I started touring. So I made a tour, uh, a fall tour last year, uh, spring uh, last year. So I'm doing another one now in Canada, New York area. Just, I love it. It's wonderful. What is it that makes you feel more fulfilled in your uh, Creativity career? in any form. Um, a third thing that I'm doing the last couple of years, I invested and I'm in a restaurant business. So I have a Entrepreneur! Yeah. He does it all! So I have three restaurants now in Mykonos and we open a beach club and uh, I will expand now in London, New York, uh, one of our brands. You have no idea how much pleasure this gives me. Like to see people, to meet new people, to make them happy, to taste the food, to, to, to create the Greek culture and food and, and make it travel the world. So that is a form that I enjoy. And it's, it's like theater. You set up the restaurant, everything. People come and enjoy a venue. In theater is the people watching uh, the, the play. But they still have feelings. They laugh. They have joy. They cry. They have whatever. It's the same in theater. It's an experience. Mm -hmm. So creating experiences and touch, touching people's hearts, it's, it's, all, it's very creative. And that's what it's fulfilling to me. What's next for Manos Gabras? I'm shooting another film in April called uh, Gates of Hades. It's a story based on the myth of uh, Addis, Hades, and Persephone. Persephone. Um, but it's a, a modern thriller. It's an American film. Uh, we start shooting in April. Um, I mean, talks for two more films, one Canadian and one French. Um, we open official third restaurant at the Beach Club in Mykonos this year, and I'm about to finish my third book. It's going to come out uh, early 2017. I think that's it. Yeah. Congratulations. Rock on, Manos Gabras. Thank Congratulations you, thank you. on everything. We wish you much success, and we're looking forward to hearing about your next projects next time you're in New York. And yeah. swing away, I'm sure my, my, my colleagues and my producer said it, and I'm excited about the opening of Swing Away in uh, United States in, uh, in March. So we are, we're all excited about Swing Away. Guys, look out for it. Check online to see when exactly and the location of the opening uh, is in uh, March. It's swingawaymovie.com. Manos Gabras, thank you so much for being with us. My pleasure. And much success to you. Thank you. Thank you.